Jill, top, top, top of the morning, afternoon, and evening to you, wherever you may be, wherever you may be watching, looking, or listening. It's your boy, Aunt Mo. Trapping out of Oh, no, no, my soul. Let me be with you, big baby. You're welcome to Wayne's What's my middle name? We have a guest. Hello. What is your name? My name is Danielle. So for a uh, hot girl, what well, I, I just call her this because... She from East Texas. Uh, what was her name? <laughs> Hot Girl East Texas. Uh, sub I call her. 03. She is somebody that I work with. She was like, I'm going to give you this topic. And I, it's uh, over monogamy. And uh, I want to know what you think. And I was like, you want to know about versus polygamy? or And she was like, she want to know everything. And I was like, okay. And she was like, make sure Danny in there. <laughs> So we back. Uh, for all of those who are on YouTube, the spam like the people call. They were trying to give me for my paper. But um, welcome, welcome, welcome to Wayne's World Podcast. You know what I'm talking about? We get that real, that router that cut. You dig? And so for all the first time listeners, welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for uh, giving me your hard earned listening time, whether you be at work or wherever that may be. Uh, if you're a first-time listener, thank you for uh, hopping on the boy page or looking on YouTube. I hope it's worth your time. Like I said before, we got my girlfriend, Danny with us today. Hello. And, uh, we will be talking about... Monogamy. Monogamy. You know what I'm talking about? And is it for the millennial? Uh, so, you know, if everybody who's, who's been right with your boy, you know how we do. First of all, we give you the outlook, the outline of the show for the day. You're getting the, uh, the intro. Right now, and then we'll get into, you're going to get them sports, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't know anything about sports, so that's going to be mainly Ant. And she Ant tricked home. me on that because I thought that she knew something about sports. She plays sports. She's a Cowboy fan, I know supposedly. about basketball. I'm only a Cowboys. I'm not even really a Cowboys fan. I just rock with every team you rock with, so. See what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you tricked me, bruh. That's why I didn't watch football. Yeah, but you just said you're not a fan of any, you don't even, not a fan of sports. That's a difference. Okay. I like basketball. No, you don't. You don't even watch basketball. When basketball be on, you be on I'd your phone. I'd rather watch basketball. I'd rather watch basketball. Than anyway, football, so, <laughs> like I said, <laughs> you'll get these sports, bro. Then we're going to get into the meat of it, which is monogamy. Is it for the millennial? And then we're going to close it up with the momentous moment. I'm not going to tell you what the momentous moment is. You just got to wait for it, but we do have one. And so, let me just do some housekeeping really quick. So, email. Uh, eight, elevated sense 87 at gmail.com for anybody who wants to give some feedback. You have some show topics. You just want to chop it up with your boy. Elevated sense 87 at gmail.com. Also, if you want to support, there is a link in the Anchor app, anchor.fm forward slash Wayne's World Podcast, and you can support that way. Also, the Patreon is live, patreon.com forward slash, 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 slash. Don't put that many slashes, just one. Wayne's World Potty, P-O-D-D-Y. I always tell people, listen, that was what I had to use. I don't even know if I had to use it, honestly. I'm just going to be honest. I just got it from Righteous and Ratchet, to be honest. So we just yeah, going to... No. Anyway. So, if that's the ways that you can support. Um, and so we just encourage you guys to listen, to share. Uh, if you listen on the Anchor app, I want you to leave me a voice memo. And if you listen on any other outlet especially apple Podcasts, please give me five stars it bumps me up the list of the people who got trash podcasts you know what i'm talking about i skip right ahead of them because you know we about to do some great things you know what i'm talking about so with that being said that's all the housekeeping we need to do we're gonna get into the show and we're gonna let danny talk some more and we'll be right back what you gonna get these sports bro jim and we back and we back in here yeah, <laughs> Don't yeah. <laughs> this ain't no intro. This that entree. This that intro with Kanye and sound like Andre. Trying to turn my baby mama to my fiance. That's all I got for you. Oh, what's the rest? We back. I know it at least. Okay, we're gonna let you make it. We just had a flub, <laughs> and so that's the only reason why she even know that part. She doesn't know Chance the Rapper's music and. I'm, I'm, We're not I'm, do I'm disappointed. Yes, she, do you'll see how women hit you with the bait and switch a lot today on this episode. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we back when you're going to get these sports, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Hi, bro. And uh, <laughs> I wanted to talk about Errol Spence Jr. And for those of you who don't know, he is the one. he's probably the most talented boxer to come out of the DFW ever. And uh, he has a long list of guys that 
He says he wants to fight, but we're not totally sure about. He most recently fought Sean Porter in a very rough and rugged fight. And so he doesn't have, in my opinion, many people left to fight. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's some up-and-coming guys. But he could fight Danny Garcia. Uh, Danny Garcia just made waste of literally a dude that be asking for change off 30. Uh, Keith Thurman just got destroyed by Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao could be a, a good option just for a money grab. And uh, the, the fight that everybody really wants to see is against Terrence Crawford. But, you know what I'm talking about? That boy from, uh, no, uh, what is it? Nebraska. Uh, is it Nebraska? I think it's Nebraska. But, uh, yeah. So that's the fight that everybody wants to see. They was going back and forth on Twitter uh, recently. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of tough talk. But I think at the end of the day, nobody really wants to fight Bud Crawford because he's, he's pound for pound that guy. He's older, he's seasoned, and he's ready. You know what I'm saying? So I think if, if there was a warm-up fight, so to speak, then that would be cool. But otherwise, I'm not buying that. Nobody really wants to fight him because it's nothing but space and opportunity. He's on, like Bud Crawford is only fighting mandatories. And I think if you really want to show us who you are, you'll fight Danny Garcia, you'll fight Manny Pacquiao, then you'll fight Terrence before he gets too old. Do you know anything about Terrence? About, uh... Nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning right now, so... But didn't you sit, watch a couple fights with me of him fighting? What did he look like? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he, he look, Yellow Beezy came out at, at, the, at the... Oh, that guy. That guy. That's Earl Spence Jr. Oh. The, you, That's when you said his car flipped over, though, right? Yeah, the Lamborghini. Yeah. White oh, Lambo. okay, I remember him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the White Lambo that flipped over. Yeah. He was over our 30. That boy was drunk out of his mind, Kim yeah, Folk. shouldn't have been speeding. Oh, yeah. Thanks for your input on that one. <laughs> <laughs> should have been speeding. Yep. But, yeah, so... Uh, so th yeah, man, that's that's the point though. Uh, I definitely want to see this guy fight the best of the best, man. And to me, there is nobody else. Danny Garcia, cool, but he's too he's too blocky. He's got six toes, by the way, on one of his feet. Yeah. That's why he's so blocky. Nah, that would make him very dexterous and least moving on one of those feet. Gotta be. Now, if he has seven toes, yeah, that saying, would be like different. Slowing the, the other foot, probably. Nah, no. it's not a weight issue. It's just yeah, but it's just not that much. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> guys, listen. I, I, you know, I'm just doing some, just being faithful. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't talking about to you, crazy. Oh, That's like, a given. I'm talking that's about. The next segment. I'm, I'm <laughs> talking <not> about. <laughs> I'm talking about to my listener who wants to hear Danny's input. So I hope she's enjoying this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any other women? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Any other woman who's gonna listen to this thing? Yeah. But um, listen. We want a good fight. That's the bottom line. And we want to see them fight while they're both young and in their prime and able to give us a good fight. Because I think I can respect Floyd. She know You know Floyd Mayweather. Oh, my gosh. I just listen. That? Right. Funny girl. But listen. <laughs> anyway, we respect. I respect Floyd. I think he's pound for pound one of the greatest to ever do it. Not, not a question. He's our Muhammad Ali of our time. Period. That we've not seen anybody greater. That's had the longevity and consistency. But he often didn't fight the best guys in their prime. You know what I'm saying? And I think you would be doing the sport a disservice not to give the people what they want. And that's the best of the best when y'all both can still have the ability to affect each other. Because Bud is on the opposite end of that. So we want that fight, Kim Folk. You know what I'm talking about? Yeet! <laughs> All, right. All right, that'll work. Mm -mm -mm. Liked it, huh? Oh, you're recording. Nah, this is pretty decent. I, ain't got it from, I just got it from Ross for like 18 bucks. I thought she was going to say like cotton on or something. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck with Ross. God damn, I'm some more jogging. That's about it. Ooh. Yeah, y'all. Yo, you know what I'm talking about? And we back in this thing. Long way, strong way, grown way. You know what I'm talking about? Wrong way. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get into the meat of it. You know what I'm talking about? And that's monogamy. So, what I wanted to do, for some people, they may not know what monogamy is. I want to give you a, I want to give you three general baselines of the defi of a definition for it, because I think they all apply. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, the first one says, the practice or state or state of being married to one person at a time. It gives an example, but we don't need that. Yeah. 
The second one says the practice or state of having a sexual relationship with only one partner. And then there's another one that kind of ties more into the animal aspect of it because it says zoology. Anything with zoo got to mean animals can folk. And then it says the habit of having only one mate at a time. So we're talking about basically the exclusivity that you have to a person. And the question is, is it for the millennial? I am going to take a back seat and I'm going to let Danny start this thing off because I'm pretty sure she got a lot to say. Um, can they hear me if I talk like that or do I need to speak better? Please talk. Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel like it is for the millennial. Excuse me. Yeah, millennial. Um, I feel like it is for the millennial. Um, oh, I am really flopping right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're one hit one, folks. Just keep going. <laughs> um, why is it for the millennial? Because there's like, a lot of people out here looking for one special person. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's keep this going. What do you mean? Help you out. <laughs> what do you mean? I um, yeah, I believe it is for that. I mean, honestly, I believe it's for anybody. I'm not even going to like specifically say it's for a millennial. Now, like there are some people out here who, you know, don't believe in that. Um, mm -hmm. who believe in polygamy, but that's not what we're talking about. But, you know, I'm still getting to well, that anyway. Yeah, but... Whatever you gotta say. That's uh, fine. Let me, let me help you out, guys. Just, uh, okay. Oh, you got it now? Yeah. All right, come on. Give okay. me something. Give but, me. yeah, there are people who really don't believe in that, and they kind of take it, they use, like, the animal aspect of it, like, oh, if all these male animals are out here mating with a bunch of different, um, you know, females, then humans should be able to do the same, which I 100% disagree with that. Um, biblical reasons for me. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be one man, one woman. All that extra stuff, y'all can keep that, but just go ahead and say what okay. you Okay. Yeah, so I think that that, I think it's very interesting because the climate we're in allows people to definitely have whatever their own interpretation of mm -hmm. life. You know what I'm saying? That the saying to each his own definitely applies to the modern day millennial. And I think that's where this question even comes from. I think that especially women uh, have, or are very much battling with how they should move in today's society, in today's climate, because there are definitely some traditional, old-fashioned, if you would mm -hmm. like to say, women who don't want to be having open relationships, that don't want to uh, accept just accept the fact that their man may be out there playing the field but they are forced to deal with it because they don't want to be by themselves. And that's the that's the scary thing is that just fear of not being alone will drive you to make decisions that go against your moral compass. And I think that's where a lot of us, and I'm not just going to say women, a lot of us are falling short. It's men out there that are side pieces. Side piece alert, Kim, folk. Lonk alert. Like, losing out here. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't even... The, you you the you the biscuit, Kim folk. You know what I'm talking about? The two piece, you the biscuit. Like you the jalapeno juice, my nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Like not even the jalapeno. Just you the jalapeno juice. juice that's leaking out the bag that it get on your eye and then it becomes a a, a problem. Like and that's and I, I listen. I'm being for real. Like it's it's pretty sad, bro. That some dudes are cool with having a whole man that's paying somebody bills and taking care of day 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 to day, and you just coming through, drop some tails, drop a little dingling off, Kim folk. It's just bad, you know what I'm saying? It, but it's real though, and so I'll say, listen, the, the the I personally, you know, I'm gonna hold what I think personally for the next go around. But I'll say it's it's interesting, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think that America definitely does things different than other cultures, and I ain't even talking about race or, or what am I trying to say? Religion or I don't know. I just messed it up. It's okay. So I'm not going to stop recording because okay. I don't feel like stopping recording right now. But, yeah, um, but I will say this, like definitely comment below, uh, as you see what we're talking about, what your thoughts and opinions are on this. Uh, it's definitely a hot topic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially women, women are losing it out here. They trying to and they trying to find it, but you just gotta stick to your guns. I think when we come back, that'll be the bottom line of a lot of it. Is stick to your guns. Like whatever you, 
if you just if you want to a Negro that's just gonna tend to you and focus on you, you have yeah, more yeah. than a, a, a more than the right. Yeah, they out there somewhere, Kim Flo. Yeah. Not over here, but they out there. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> nice one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> God, good. <laughs> but but yeah, so you know, you gotta find what's out there for you. So yeah, man, um I kinda flubbed that last little part because I couldn't formulate that thought. I woke up about thirty minutes ago and Danny, you know, she been wanting to play and ask questions and I wasn't trying to hear it, can folk. Wow. But yeah, I'm just you know, I I'd be trying to get myself together. But um I will say this. I listened to Jadena mm. uh talk on the breakfast club and he wasn't talking about polygamy it was something else it was polygyny or people just be making up extra stuff to be it, i don't know yeah. maybe i mean no it's a lot of different terms out there like i forgot who it was somebody i knew had was in class had a class and they were talking about all the different forms of stuff like that and he was saying pretty much that's where he came from so his great grandfather or something like that have yeah. multiple wives. This is what I'm trying to understand. For people who are down with polygamy, do you know how much one woman can be a headache to you, my guy? Like, let's just be real here. <laughs> how you women are a lot. We're they want bad. you to. They want you to. Why can't you be nice to me? I just why can't you, you buy nice. me flowers? I need you to feed me, and I need you to tell me I'm pretty. Right, and then it's that's really, and, and that's just the 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 stuff that simple. Like it's a whole nother tier of level of things that just make you want to pull your hair out dealing with women. And so I don't understand why you would really want to deal with multiple women. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to the the sexual aspect of it, man, you don't know what these people's spirits is like. Like a lot of these people nah, got honestly, man, a lot of people dealing with a whole bunch of stuff, can folk like. And you Whenever just you lay with, you stay with. You know what I'm talking about? Remember that. Yeah, if you if you if you grow with it, you got to show with it. Mm -hmm. like, that didn't make that. Hey, <laughs> I'm just you know what I'm saying. She just said something that rhymes, so I had to match it. You know what I'm talking about? But nah, man, and it's it's scary because listen, we all got our history, we all got our past, mm -hmm. and you start you start making certain decisions and moving certain ways, and then you be wondering why. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even know because it's because you lay with something that. That you have to stay with, you know what I'm talking about? So I don't know, bruh. I, I I don't think it's to each his own. As a Bible believing man, as a Christian, I definitely believe that we were called to to one. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't also take into account that stuff happens in life. You know, people get divorced, people die, people become extremely abusive. Um, people get married young and grow apart. It's you know they have different outlooks in life. Um, and then some people just are are trash, and you are with them because they sex was good. You don't want to be good to be alone. Or they got money. The sex was good. The money was good. And those are all horrible reasons to stay with people. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of women want to do right, once again, but they get stuck because they want the security, they want the safety, but they often can't get it. You know what I'm saying? Under yeah. the traditional umbrella so they they try to create a nigga they I'm gonna get this nigga for money and this nigga for sex and this nigga for love and he got good conversation and you gotta build a nigga and yep. it it just don't end up <laughs> it ends up being worse you know what i'm saying than if you yeah. just waited for a person who loves you and wants to and that's another but it's also hard to wait too though like in today's society with everything being able to you're able you're able to really go out and get anybody through social media comment on a couple pictures and you got girls coming back at you or you know the other way around for females so I'm like to be you looking not, at me I'm, you was looking at me the whole time <laughs> so I'm saying that don't look at me I don't know what you're talking about you <laughs> folks so I feel like for some people who don't have like that self-control to like really stick to their guns and focus on what they really want that one person they kind of get distracted with the different people who are like hitting them up you know and that kind of skews their mindset as well do you agree? Or I mean, but that's option. That's just, I mean, I don't think, listen, back in the day, like, yeah, they may not have social media, but they niggas went to bars and had work was still there. The options are always going to oh, be there. Yeah, it's like, it's just, it's life. Like, you just have to make a conscious decision on what you want to, to do you ain't in life. Options, 
Man, this I'm trying to make this about me because I ain't listening for I ain't on to talk. You know what I'm talking about? Like it ain't got to do with me. This is for all the other people who believe in having multiple women and doing all this stuff out there, kid folk. I'm a I'm a puppy dog. You know what I'm talking about? I'm a kitty <laughs> bird out here in these streets, kid folk. I ain't got I, oh no issues. You know what I'm saying? Although I, when we start our podcast, we will delve into the stuff that we've dealt with and our issues. So look forward to it. That. I ain't got hate when I can't end it the way I want to. I'm gonna go right back into it. <laughs> yeah, so um I okay, so this is what I wanna do. Cause we could go on and on about it, we can ramble about it, but what would you say to the woman? Because we're gonna look at it from a couple different standpoints and, and perspectives. What would you say to the woman who really just st- strictly from the standpoint of she, she could be young, she could be old, but she doesn't know what she wants to do. She just looks at the scene, the dating scene, and she looks at how people are doing things, and she's trying to formulate an opinion on what she wants to do. What would you say to them? Um, honestly, I would say pray about it. What if um, they don't believe in God? And that's your first issue. Ooh. But, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just being honest, though. Like, that's, that's your first problem. But, um... To the woman who sees everything going on, don't believe that you can. That's that's gonna sound really rude. I'm not saying. Just that. say it. What are you talking about? No, we don't. We don't. Rude. We don't make stuff sound cute on, no, on my podcast. Make it sound cute. Okay. Um. Just stick to. Okay. Write down a list and put like priorities. Right. Put them in order. Right. And when you find somebody who matches up with all of that, don't worry about what everybody else got going on because you're not them. You can't you can't handle what they're going through. So get your priorities straight. Write down a list that you need and what you want in somebody. When you find somebody who checks off, because the other thing is somebody ain't going to check off everything on your list. So you got to compromise a little everybody bit. Everybody can't right? be me, come Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, because I found the perfect 10 right here. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, ain't nobody going to be funny. No. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I'll, I'll add on to that and say if you, if but if, be real too though. Yeah. If you look like a bug's life, don't don't make a long list about stuff. What is it saying? Don't be a penny looking for a dime or something like that. I don't know. I ain't never heard of it. Oh, yeah. Right. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> don't go chasing waterfalls. You know what I'm talking about? I still don't know. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? I, I still know. don't know what that means. TLC, help me out. Right. But no, seriously, and but be realistic though. Yeah. Not like just based off of looks and stuff. You gotta find what you need. I think the biggest problem is that people. Don't look for what they need in life. Mm-hmm. They look for what they want. And we want too much. Yeah. We're just human. You know what I'm saying? And so when you constantly wanting things that can change from day to day based off your emotions or how you feel, you'll never even entertain that's a good finding point. something in one person. And so that's what I would say is like, you know, look at what you need and mix in some of what you want. And I yeah. think that you'll go a, a, a better, you'll do better out here. What about the people who you believe God, you hold into your standards, but it just ain't happening? What would you say to them? Well, maybe you just meant to be by yourself. Okay. No, I'm just like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but um, again, just wait, you know, because at the end of the day, things don't happen in your time. Like, although you may feel like you're ready, maybe God's saying that you're not ready. And there's somebody out here who's waiting on you to be ready. Or Come a lot of now. times there's somebody in your circle that you just keep them in the friend zone and you know that's really who you need to be with. That's wait for your bow ass instead of waiting for your ass. <laughs> and I said a Z. It's A-Z. It's yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your ass. <laughs> yeah. Nah, real talk yeah, though. Yeah, I'm like, just, We're saying just that wait. too. I'm tired of people talking about bow ass. Hey, shut up. You ain't, what, what was the cheeky, see, I, see they may forget who bow ass was with. But anyway, I know who it was. I know the Bible came for. Don't judge me. But yeah, uh, whoever it was, See, because the chick who I can't think of her name, she was married to this one, this woman's son, right? And when the, when the son died, the the lady had released both the, both the uh, wives, mm-hmm. and then uh, the one wife, the ex wife of the son, was like, "Okay, I'm gone. I'm going back to my people, Kim folk." But then the chick who ended up marrying Boaz eventually was like, "Wherever you go, I'ma go." Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. And she would not leave. And so some of y'all ain't even faithful to your mama, your own mama like that, let alone to find a woman 
who you can you can have so much respect and honor for that you would wait and go with her somewhere. But the bottom line is like you're just not you 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 all are not putting yourself in a position favorably. Instead of you being patient and waiting, you're catching body after body after body. It's like you shape shit. Yeah, I can't vote. And that's a scary thing for a man. Because it's like, listen, you ain't found nothing to fit that piece just yet. You ain't found a piece to fit that hole just yet. Like, that's that's scary, bro. Yeah. Cats ain't trying to fall into the sea. You know what I'm talking about? Not to mention other spirits that you came along with that. Yeah, so, so you, 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 only God gonna chop, toss, you, toss you into the sea of forgiveness. Not me, I can't vote. Real talk. <laughs> I don't even forget nothing. <laughs> you tell me you got all them bodies. I'm, I'm just here for you. I ain't God. I ain't. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Are you asking too much of me. I ain't Jesus. I am not him. He is not me. You know what I'm talking about? We two different people. That's my brother. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying, I'm trying to be like him, but I ain't him. So keep that in mind is that I, I would end it by saying monogamy is important to me. I think that it is important that you... You feed your time, your efforts, your energy into being with that one person that you can love. It's not going to be easy. Stop getting impatient. Stop letting your body count go up. Just, just, hold on. just be patient, yo. Like, And, and I, I believe that in time, you will either grow comfortable and healthy in being by yourself or you'll make rash decisions. And, that, and that's not good for anybody. Yeah. Because... I'm telling you, it's something about, for men and women, being in a position where you're good by yourself. When you don't have to, when you're really not seriously worried about, oh, I got to hear my biological clock ticking, or dang, man, you know, I want to play with my kids before I get too old. Whatever it may be, or, or, or simply just not wanting to be alone. It's, listen, I've been there. I'm pretty sure Danny's been there. Like, we're human. Mm -hmm. And so we're not negating the fact that you're human. What we're trying to say is you you can catch more flies with honey than you can with what's vinegar. the other stuff? Yeah, that what she said, Kim Folk. You can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar, and so when you got to take them vinegar baths because you've been dope popped all them times because you're trying to make it tighten back up, it's, it's a bad situation. <laughs> no, that's real. Like I need y'all to use your use your thinking caps out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's just a lot that comes along with that. So we're not going to hold you. Uh, we hope that in some capacity, this could help somebody. Somebody out there. Um, Really, really the thing is like, uh, you know, we would like to be more free flowing with it, but it's hard because we got to stop with this five minute cap. And so for, for us to do the YouTube video, we would need another phone to record. And so it's a lot. So segue that into before we get to the momentous moment, please. Go in the link in the Anchor app and help your boy out so we can upgrade. We can get some better mics. Yes. We can get some better recording equipment. Um, and also even from Apple Podcasts. And this is another thing. Shout out to all of the people. Yo, if I could show you all of the, like, where all of the people, Louisiana, California, mm -hmm. uh, look, Minnesota, it's a lot of places that listen to the podcast and the numbers are continuing to grow. And so I thank y'all so much for that, yo. Y'all are stupid, though, for that. Um, now, mind you, I may actually know exactly where these people are. Like, if it's say Minneapolis, Minnesota, nine times out of ten, that was either my brother or my aunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I ain't doing no tripping. It, it provides me with some demographics. Yeah. But short and sweet, I do, uh, do want to continue to uh, give you guys some dope content. So I appreciate y'all for that. Look out for uh, the adventures of Ammo and Dan Frank. That will be our relationship podcast exclusively. And so that will be dope. And I, you know, hopefully the women can find some hope in, in, in Danny over here. Cause, uh, I'm trying, y'all. Okay. I'm not a talker like this one. So, hey, man. You know, <laughs> yin and yang type situation. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, we're going to close it up, y'all. And uh, we're going to come back with the momentous moment. And then we're going to uh, see y'all another time. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Now it's time for that momentous moment. You know what I'm talking about? Where we bring everything to a close. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate everybody been rocking with your boy Long Way, Grown Way, Strong Way, Yeet. You know what I'm talking about? Out the mud. Yeet, yeet, yeet. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, um, so listen, I wanted to just impart something on you guys. You know what I'm saying? And 
that's societal norms. Like understand that societal norms aren't you. They aren't you. your heart. They aren't your mind. They aren't your belief system. They're, they aren't your morality. It's a society. It's made of people who have different things that they believe. And if you allow them to, they will force you to believe what you don't want to believe. And that could be anything. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get too deep into it, but y'all know the stuff that is being shoved down our throats every single day in society. We will talk about it one day, but today is not the day or the yeah. platform. But hold firm. That's the that's the bottom line. Hold firm to who you are and what you believe. Like mm -hmm. I believe that God will bless you tremendously, and he will be able to put you into arenas that you never expected to be in if you just continue to be who he has purposed you to be. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow... You know, somebody's belief on or sexual orientation or, you know, well, I believe God reincarnates in frogs. Like, whatever they want to say, let them say that. But don't allow it to change. And don't let circumstances uh, affect how you view life and how you view God. Because yeah, that's the hard part, too. Well, not how you view God, but just life in general. Yeah. But sometimes how you view God, too. Yeah, because life yeah. happens. Like. You know, I, I was talking to my brother yesterday and we had a real life conversation about this and it was tough because a real earth shattering event happened to both of us. And, you know, it's just, you know, I almost get concerned. I feel like my brother was losing faith mm -hmm. and I, I just don't want that for him. You know what I'm saying? I love you. You know who you are. I ain't got to say your name or nothing like that, but hold firm, y'all. Stay true to who you are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we will end that. Once again, y'all, if y'all would like to uh, send in show topic uh, ideas, even future ones for me and Danny, uh, elevatedsense87 at gmail.com, E-L-E-V-A-T-E-D-S-E-N-S-E-87 at gmail.com. Um, if you would like to uh, leave me a voice memo for me or Danny, if we could play it on the show. I would enjoy doing that if you would allow me to, but if not, that's fine, but just give us something, you know what I'm saying? Um... And you can hit the support link in there just to donate one, five, ten, a thousand, whatever guy lay on your heart. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, <laughs> the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? The links will be in description on all my social media outlets. You can find me if you're really trying to trying to trying to find me. I'm out in these streets. You know what I'm talking about? I'm out here. You know what I'm talking about? Long way, strong way. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? As I always say, life is hard enough, guys. So don't just live, live, elevate. elevate. You know what I'm talking about? Yeet.